What's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you about 1983's Vigilante. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this new 4K UHD release from Blue Underground. New York City is a cesspool of crime and corruption. People are afraid to venture out of their homes after dark. The sleaze owns the streets, and the police are of no help. Who can we turn to in these times? Charles Bronson, I mean Fred Williamson, who's formed a posse of like-minded individuals with one objective— to dispense their own form of justice. Vigilante opens with a rousing speech from Fred Williamson in which he rallies the troops to take back their streets by any means necessary. And what a way to open this movie. Williamson is one imposing dude. And when he speaks, you listen. So when Williamson says, This is our Waterloo, baby. You want your city back? You gotta take it. Dig it. Take it. I was like, hell yeah. Granted, I don't live in a city. I live in a relatively quiet small town. But by God, I'm ready to take the streets back. From whom? <laughs> the late great Robert Forster also stars as a blue-collar guy who's pushed to the edge when his wife and son are brutally attacked by a vicious street gang. Forster isn't hell-bent on revenge at first. He's torn between his need for retribution and his humanity, asking Williamson at one point, what separates the vigilantes? from the scum, to which Williamson retorts, hey, that's something you gotta figure out all by yourself. And that's the kind of attitude I like in this kind of movie. Vigilante is a gritty, ultra-violent 70s style exploitation film. The setting is the rough and tumble streets of New York. The streets are filthy, and the buildings are derelict and graffiti tagged. You can almost smell the city stink and feel the bitter cold. I love movies set in New York City during the 70s and early 80s. It's a New York I wouldn't want to visit, physically, but I love seeing its sneering face on the screen. Director William Lustig brings the same gritty aesthetic to Vigilante that he brought to his classic Maniac, but does so without aping himself. And if you're thinking that Vigilante is a poor man's death wish, think again. Vigilante is more of an urban western, right down to its awesome, almost Morriconian score, by Jay Chataway. Vigilante also benefits from a great supporting cast, including Rutanya Aldo, Willie Colon, Richard Bright, and Joe Spinell in a small role as a crooked attorney. Are there any other kind? My only real qualm with Vigilante has to do with the curious subplot in which Forster's character is sentenced to 30 days in the pokey for contempt of court. I'm not sure what the point is here. I guess the experience was intended to harden Forster, but I would have preferred more scenes of street justice with Forster conflicted about taking matters into his own hands, maybe even Forster breaking down emotionally and mentally before fully embracing his new role as the angel of death. We get some great chase sequences, both on foot and via automobile, a whole host of colorful characters, and one particularly brutal kill that Lustig handles in a, dare I say, Hitchcockian fashion. It was very suspenseful, and the violence was tastefully, more or less, implied, which made it all the more vicious, I thought. If you haven't seen Vigilante, I highly recommend it. If you are a fan of the film, then this new 4K UHD release from Blue Underground is a must-own. First, let's check out the presentation. This release comes with a cool lenticular slipcase featuring some very nice artwork. On the back of the slipcase, we have the plot synopsis, the list of extras, the credits, and the technical specs. The sleeve is reversible. On the reverse of the sleeve, we have the original poster art for Vigilante. There is the 4K UHD disc. There is the standard Blu-ray disc. This release also comes with a collectible booklet featuring an essay by Michael Gingold and some images from the film. As for the picture quality and sound quality on this release, I thought Vigilante both looked and sounded absolutely fantastic. I would give the 4K transfer on this release a perfect 5 out of 5. This is one of the best 4K presentations I have ever seen. It's a shining example of how 4K can give an old movie new life. The sound quality was also exemplary on this release. I would give it a solid 5 out of 5 as well. Vigilante both looked and sounded absolutely exceptional on this release from Blue Underground. 
As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Blue Collar Death Wish. It's 24 minutes and 42 seconds in length. It includes interviews with writer Richard Battier, director William Lustig, stars Randy Jurgensen, Ritanya Alda, Frankie Pesh, Robert Forster, and more. They discuss the state of affairs in New York City at the time that inspired Vigilante. They discuss the cast, working with Joe Spinell and Willie Colon. They discuss the financial difficulties that befell the film during production, shooting in New York without permits, the film's release, and more. Next, we have Urban Western, an interview with composer Jay Chataway. It's 25 minutes and 8 seconds in length. Mr. Chataway discusses growing up and studying music in Pittsburgh, composing music while in the Navy, and how he broke into composing music for film. He discusses meeting Bill Lustig, composing music for Maniac and Vigilante. He discusses the composer-director bond, the Urban Western motif he created for Vigilante, and more. We get seven trailers, four TV spots, a radio spot, a three-minute promo reel, and poster and still galleries. We also get three audio commentaries. The first is with William Lustig and co-producer Andrew Garoni. The second is with William Lustig, Robert Forster, Fred Williamson, and Frank Pesh. And the third is with film historians Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson. I have recently become a big fan of the commentaries by Troy Howarth on these kinds of releases, and his commentary with Mr. Thompson for Vigilante is no exception. It was incredibly insightful, very entertaining, and very, very informative. This is a fantastic release for Vigilante from Blue Underground. This is one of the best 4K presentations I have ever seen. I cannot stress that enough. Vigilante both looked and sounded exquisite on this release. We also get some nice new extras and just an overall nice presentation for Vigilante from Blue Underground. I'll post a link to Blue Underground's website down in the description. Go over and check them out. Again, if you haven't seen Vigilante, I highly recommend it. If you are a fan of the film, then this release is a must-own. If you're a fan of Vigilante, please let me know down in the comments section below. If you've already purchased this release from Blue Underground, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below, too. If you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.